hello everyone welcome back to the channel i hope you all are doing absolutely well so guys in today's video we are going to talk about life cycle methods in react js so in this video let us see first of all what all things we are going to cover in this video first is what is life cycle method then we are going to understand human life cycle versus react life cycle so by taking the example of human life cycle we are going to try to understand how life cycle in react works then third thing that we are going to see is what all are the different life cycle methods that we have in react js and finally as always we are going to see an important interview question based on life cycle methods so before proceeding i just want to let you know that uh, in the upcoming videos you are going to see many different topics related to life cycle methods and this is kind of an introduction video to life cycle methods and please be noted that life cycle method is one of the most important topic in react js because in the upcoming video we are also going to see some of the hooks through which we can achieve life cycle methods and uh, basically there are these life cycle methods we use using uh, for the class components whereas for functional components we have the uh, already present hooks so just be with me and follow the videos that are going to come and you will get to understand everything so let us first of all understand what is life cycle methods so well, the life cycle methods are the special functions that automatically get called as your components are created, updated and destroyed. Think of them as the various sta stages your React component goes through during its lifetime. So now let us understand how life cycle React life cycle method is different from a human life cycle method. So on the screen, you can see there are two diagrams which I have taken. First one is the human life cycle diagram and the second one is your React life cycle diagram. So in the first human life cycle diagram, you can see in human life cycle, there are different stages, right? First of all, a baby is born, then he goes to a, ch a childhood phase and then they becomes a young person or adolescent and then they become an adult and finally they die. In this way, a human life cycle works, right? In the similar way we have react life cycle where a when a program is first of all mounted then updation happens and then it is unmounted so we are going to understand all of these things in details in the upcoming videos so first of all there are three phases in human life cycle that is birth then we have update update in update everything comes up during its lifetime and then we have death okay so three phases in human life cycle are birth update and death in the similar way let us understand the three phases of react life cycle mount is the first uh, phase update is the second phase and unmount is the third phase so whenever you are asked at any point of time that how many life cycle uh, how many phases of life cycle are there you should always say three phases that is mount update and unmount you should never say that there are multiple phases because multiple uh, there are multiple life cycle methods and not phases phases are only three so you can see in this diagram mount is the first one update is the second one and unmount is the third one now there are multiple methods or functions inside every phase so that we are going to discuss now so first of all uh, in the mount phase we have uh, three main life cycle methods that are constructor render and component did mount in the similar way updating phase in this phase we have two key methods which is should component update and component did update and in the similar way in the unmounting phase we have one method which is will component will unmount so these all are the different methods you can see total of uh, 3 plus 2 plus 1 which is 6 different uh, methods are there so most probably i will be bringing 6 different videos for all of these uh, life cycle methods because they are important and we will also understand these life cycle methods through code now it is the time for us to discuss one important question based on the life cycle methods because as i already said this was an introduction video on the life cycle method so we will not go in much detail and we will cover all these life cycle methods one by one in the upcoming videos so the interview question for today is can you explain the purpose and order of execution of the key life cycle methods in a react component mounting phase provide examples of scenario where would you use each of these methods so basically they have asked about the mounting phase so you uh, as i've already explained you mounting phase is the first one and in this we have 
three different life cycle methods so how will you answer this question the mounting phase in react refers to the initial rendering of a component during this phase several life cycle methods are called in a specific order to set up the component let's break down the purpose and order of execution of these methods along with the examples when you might use them so the order of execution is like first of all construction uh, constructor function is called then render method is called next to generate the initial ui and finally component did mount is executed after the component is rendered to the dom so you also have to remember that these like these orders uh, these methods execute in order like one after the other and it is not like first of all component did mount will uh, uh, execute and then constructor will execute it is not like so first of all constructor has to be executed then render and then component did mount so now we will take an example scenario to understand it in a better way so suppose you are building a weather app in react okay and in the mounting phase of your weather component in the constructor method you might initialize the state with default values and bind event handlers for user interactions so with this you can understand that what happens in constructor method is uh, the value of the state and the value of the state is set and like the event handlers are binded right next is in the render method you create the initial ui structure to display the weather information so in the render method your ui is like created and it is rendered on the screen next is your component did mount method in which you would fetch the weather data from from an external api and update the component state with the retrieved data this ensures that the component only makes the api call after it has been rendered to the dom preventing unnecessary api request so you can understand that with this example that uh, like it is very important that first render method should execute then only component did mount should execute because otherwise if render would have not been executed then it, already if the component did mount would have executed then what would happen it would make api calls and that api calls would be redundant because uh, we cannot even show the data on the screen so until and unless our ui is not ready we, there is no point of making an api call so that is why we, what we are doing in the render method we are uh, setting up our ui and then in the component did mount method we are call, making an external api call so in summary understanding and effectively using the mounting phase lifecycle method in react is essential for setting up and initializing components properly so this example i have taken for just for the uh, mounting uh, phase in the similar way you can get the questions based on updating phase and unmounting phase so you should just explain in the similar way like in updating phase we have two methods and in the unmounting phase we have one method so i hope you you might have got the proper understanding of the interview question also and just in case if you feel any doubt in this video make sure to comment down thanks for watching the video and i will see you in next video